each year, thousands flock to the world-famous Kalani Yoga Retreat outside of Hilo on the big island of Hawaii. With 120 remote acres of tropical foliage, healing body treatments, jungle-inspired rooms, and a wide variety of yoga and movement classes each day. For many, it's paradise. But providing thousands of sustainable meals each year to both residents and guests visiting Hawaii's largest retreat center presents a big challenge. As recently as 100 years ago, this part of the island was flowing with lava. Today, there's little topsoil for growing food. As a result, Hawaii imports nearly 90% of its consumables. But Kalani's Director of Agriculture, Barkas Adams, along with residents Beth Messenger and Eric Ellenwood, have created a surprising solution that can grow food up to five times the normal rate without soil. Aquaponics is a combination of hydroponics and aquaculture. The hydroponics is growing plants directly in water, which has no nutritional value, okay? The aquaculture is the raising of fish, so hence aquaponics. The fish are an important part of the equation because fish, as we all know, are, make wonderful fertilizer. We have right here a 700 gallon fish tank, which we usually have stocked with anywhere from three to 400 pounds of tilapia fish. They mess up their water by going to the bathroom. That water is suctioned off through these pipes into this box. That acts as a filter. Once it goes from here, it empties into these growing troughs behind me. That's where the, the true magic comes along. The fish poo, once it enters the growing trough, automatically becomes fertilizer. It's no longer fish poo. And the plants love it, okay? The water goes all through this whole system based on gravity down to the final trough over there where Beth is. There's a couple of pumps that pumps the water back up into the fish tank. We're producing all of the basil, uh, all the watercress, uh, the green onions, a uh, good portion of the lettuce, the chard, the kale, uh, all replacing what our kitchen normally goes through. When you plant in the ground your traditional plantings, you're told to plant everything a foot apart. And that's simply that because the roots have to grow out into the soil looking for nutrients. We bring the nutrients right to them here so we can plant them much closer together. We can up the, the ante by increasing the amount of food we can grow in a certain square foot. We're bringing nutrients all the time. This is constantly flowing. So they're getting large amounts of nutrients on a continual basis, which speeds up the process. It grows about three times faster than if you have it in the ground. We plant a tomato seed over there in that seedling tray. It grows for about three weeks until it gets a long enough root that we can stick it in the water. Once we do that, within two weeks, it's producing tomatoes for us. Wow. Okay, within two weeks. Incredible. It's, it's amazing. Yeah.